Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to give you an overview of MyBib.com, which is a new and completely free tool for making bibliographies. So I'm logged into my account, and we're going to start a new project. Projects are where you will lump together all of your citations. So let's change the new project name and just call it my citations for my paper. Now, I'm going to add a citation. Before I do that, I want to point out that you can pick from a variety of styles for your bibliography. So let's add my citation. And if I know the exact web address, I'd copy and paste it in there. If I know the exact title for a book or a journal or a video, I can put those in place. And over here in the More menu, we can see all the other options that are available to us. I'm going to use a book, and in this case, I'm going to use the book Snow in the Kingdom. And I'll conduct my search for it, and then I'll select the book that I want. In this case, it's this one here. And if I need to edit any aspect of this, I can do so just by clicking on it. If I want to add the editor in, if that's appropriate, I might put that in there. The title of the book, when it was published. Now, if that date is not correct, I'm going to update it. And I know, because I have the book myself, that that date was not correct. So I'm going to put in the correct date and now click Save. Now my citation has been added. Let's go ahead and add another book. So again, I'll select Add Citation. In this case, I'll do a different book called Everything They Had. Now, that particular search wasn't quite what I expected, so I'm going to keep adding to it. And now I have the book that I want. That all looks correct. And let's save it. Now you can repeat that for as many citations as you might need. When you're done, you can download your bibliography and you can get it in a Word format, save it into Google Drive as a Google Doc, or choose any of these other options here, including just simply printing it out. And there's my printed page. So that's how you can use MyBib to create a bibliography. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.